What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge up. He's announcing an explosion on the set of ABC's The View. Guys, we're witnessing tons of infighting and attacks on the host after they're coming to the realization that Kamala Harris is just not adequate enough. She's not fit enough to run against Donald Trump. And the ladies don't like to hear it, guys. I'm excited to get a clip and see them try to debate on Miss Kamala Harris and her fitness, whether or not she is, you know, adequate enough for the DNC's front runner position, guys. We're gonna get straight to the clips and I'll save my thoughts for the back end, guys. Definitely stick around to the end so you guys get my thoughts on the back and also youtube pushes this video out definitely stick around till the end you guys but let's get straight to the news before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all well, while we're on this topic let's just keep <laughs> going because tonight at 6 30 president biden is going to have a press conference i think that that would be a good test for the americans to check him out you know, and and as far as uh, replacing him, I want to hear what you if you think who would replace him. I think it's a little late. Fifty percent of this country or half of them are in for Trump already. How are you going to convince these people? That's right. There is the point that I've been trying to preach to all these folks who have been saying that, you know, Kamala Harris is going to somehow swoop in all these endorsements from, you know, big figures celebrities are going to get them on board and somehow win her you know the seat of the white house it's not going to work guys donald trump has had to come over, overcome way too much for them to you know just say that kamala harris is the one they're going to go no it's not going to happen Fifty percent of this country or half of them are in for trump already how are you going to convince these people that sherrod sherrod brown or uh, or uh, john testa can fill the position well, i don't think you should leap i think it's over hard. the vice president of the united states who has been very <laughs> in the white house side by side she's she never lets anyone talk does she she just has to but and here she goes guys with baseless claims go here we go let's hear it tds syndrome 101 the position. Well, i don't think you should leap i think it's over hard. the vice president of the united states who has been very <laughs> has been in the white house side by side she's been stumping for for joe uh she went to the alpha cap alpha convention at boulay she was a super She's in the White House side by side. That's another point that I don't like. She's in the White House side by side with Joe, but what have they done but soil themselves inside of the White House, guys? Yes, she's there, but they're running our country straight into the dirt, guys. It doesn't make any, that doesn't make her more qualified because she's been sitting and watching it happen. Come on. What has been in the White House side by side? She's been stumping for, for Joe. Uh, she went to the Alpha Cap Alpha convention at Boulay. She was a superstar there. She spoke at the Essence Festival. She was a we superstar love there. We love Kamala. We no, love her. Well, the no question is, can she beat Trump? Yes, That's she can. That's no Democratic um, candidate can win without the black vote. She has that vote. She has a lot of votes. Wait, are you saying that a white... Here we go. Sunny Hopes is speaking for the entire black community where she says that Kamala Harris, of all folks, the you know the successor to Mr. Biden, is the one who has the black vote. No, no, no way. We just see it. Like I said, everyone has their eyes open. Not only the right, but the left are now tuned in and witnessing the charades, the legal lawfare that Donald Trump had to go through, and then what happened at that Butler, Pennsylvania rally. I think ice to cake, guys. I don't know. Not to even mention the 90-minute debate. I mean, come on, guys. C get out of here. She has that vote. She has a lot of votes. Wait, are you saying that a white, that a white guy in the Democratic Party is not going to get the black vote? I think it would be very difficult if really? you le leap over <laughs> well, a black vote. Here's the problem. She's we don't, we don't know. Trump and go against against Biden. Yeah. Well, listen, when your, your question as to um, a white guy, it's not just that it's like, look, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Communities like the Latino community, the African-American community know them. They've earned their respect and their support right. through decades of work. And so, like, I don't know anybody in Florida who knows who the hell Gretchen Whitmer is. I don't. That's, I know. I mean, she seems to be a terrific person and talented. And I want to I wanna go back to what we were talking about because, again, it's a team. And I absolutely yes. believe that, that Kamala Harris is qualified on day one. But, yes. and, that, and she's part of it. What makes her qualified? They keep saying that she's qualified. I want to see her accolades in the Senate. What has she done that has made her so qualified besides her skin color? Right now, I swear the only point that that, and it's going to dry, it's been getting underneath my skin because I'm a black man. I'm just like, I hate to see that be your only qualification. Don't do the DEI thing again and say, hey, she's a black woman. She's more than qualified. No, 
That's not how this worked, guys. What has she done? Give me actual, her real black background besides her skin color. I mean, you look that up and you don't have much. And that's all I'm going to say, guys. That's why she's not beating Trump. About because, again, it's a team. And I absolutely yes. believe that, that Kamala Harris is qualified on day one. But, yes. and, that, and she's part of the team. Donald Trump, Joe Biden has had one cabinet secretary quit. Marty Walsh, because he got his dream job as National Hockey League Commissioner. Just real quick, to answer Joy's question, though, how do you do this? Undecideds uh, decide who they're voting for in the final three months of elections. We've said this, Rachel mm -hmm. Maddow said it yeah. on our show. Yeah. Our elections are decided by about half a million voters in seven swing states. Crazy. Right now, those swing That's states crazy, are right there. overwhelmingly going to Donald Trump. Kamala Harris outperformed. That right there is all we need to hear, guys. Those swing states are overwhelmingly going to Donald Trump. This is what the polls have been showing, not since just being, you know, when Kamala Harris came. This is when Joe was in. Now it's showing even when come. I mean, come on, it's carrying over. We're still seeing that she's not pulling ahead of Donald Trump. Nowhere near. You know, there. This is a, this going to be a landslide, guys. They're gearing up for a literally a blowout, a landslide victory, um, historical fashion for Donald Trump. Right here, listen to Alyssa Farrah Griffin. She's trying to tell the truth. The View host, Joy Behar, Sonny Host, and guys, get it through those Trump deranged ears. They just don't want to hear it. They don't want to believe it. But Trump is pulling ahead. He's been ahead this entire time, guys. All your charades, all your attempts have failed, fell short, and that's why your leading candidate had dropped out. Come on, let's be real. Our elections are decided by about half a million voters in seven swing states. Crazy. Right now, those swing That's states crazy, are right overwhelmingly there. going to Donald Trump. Kamala Harris outperforms Joe Biden head to head, yes. but we yes. don't also have to limit her to limit hit to her. Let it be a democratic process. See who That's the most competitive is. I, 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 I think we limited her, her and good. we pair yeah. her with a vice president, uh, like a, gov um, a, a governor of a state. And listen to listen to her. She doesn't even know who. Like, that's what I'm saying, guys. Sunny Hobson is another one that I'm starting to question on the DEI on the DEI side. Like, how does she get in her position? Because she doesn't have very many points. It's always baseless claims, guys. She's I don't care who goes in there. Don't don't skip over her. Just don't skip over the like. Come on, for the sake of our country, look over skin color for two seconds, Sunny Host, and good lead. Like, come on, man. With a vice president. Uh, like a, gov um, a governor of a state, and there you have another winning ticket. But again, a Biden-Harris ticket, I still believe in. I believe in it to my they didn't tell. Yo, there we have it, guys. The ladies on the set of you can't get it all on one accord, which will let you know one thing. Trump is ahead. This is another huge victory, guys. Whenever we're hearing a lot of fighting or non agreements between the ladies on the set of The View, that table is in you know, straight outroar commotion. It's a good news for Donald Trump. Everyone's supporting Donald Trump and what's going on his movement, making America great again. Because, I mean, these ladies right here are, are serving. They want the destruction, the demise of America, apparently, because therefore, whoever, whoever is on the Democratic Party side, um, you know, Joe Biden shown time and time again he wasn't adequate enough. These ladies got up there every single day, back Joe, vouch for him. And now we're seeing them do the same exact thing that they've done for Joe Biden, for Kamala Harris, where they're going to back whoever, whoever's in that seat. Um, they get a script, they read it, and they're going to stick to it. They don't care. They're just big old talking points, talking heads. But it looks like some of the ladies here are waking up. They're seeing that. Kamala Harris may not be the one, you know, they're not going with the agenda. The ABC, the view is trying to get them to push because we got a little bit of, you know, disagreements at the table. We got Alyssa Fair Griffin saying, hey, we should probably just skip over Kamala Harris. Sonny Hosen, they're going head to head. It's showing you right here. If they can't agree with who's next, they lost, guys. They lost. And if they're switching this late, they lost, guys. I mean, come on. There's only one other way they win. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. We're seeing an explosion on the set of ABC's The View. Do you think Kamala Harris makes it all the way to that ballot later on this year? Are they going to do a second switch, guys? Definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button. Share us out to as many Facebook friends as possible. You guys share the truth. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button. Doesn't cost you one thing. You guys hit that like button for your boy. And also, that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys in the next week